Another Realm is a narrative-driven tabletop role-playing game podcast. For this season, we're using the Dungeons & Dragons 5e rules. Hmm, kinda. Sometimes the language on this podcast can get a little spicy. But if that doesn't bother you, my name is Will, and I play Six. I'm Bruce, and I'm the voice of Archie. I'm Frazier, and I play Marg Bark Smoke. My name is Emily, and I'm the voice of Osiris t Sun. And I'm your Game Master, Tanner, and this is what happened on the last episode of Nether Realm: The Never There. Oh, wow. I did not think I'd be part of solving a mystery. Hopefully I can help this group of weirdos. Okay, so I met these guys and their dog at the mouth of Green Hollow Caves. After some introductions and odd comments on my height, we went into the darkness. At least, it would have been dark, if not for the torches on the walls. It seems that there's some kind of operation in here that has led to the death of at least one person and one... fish? Person? And the sixth guy brought the dead human lady back for a series of questions about the mystery. And baby making. Ew. Anyway, we went further into the caves and found what these guys were looking for. The crowns would. But six stepped on a pressure plate that trapped us in the room with angry singing fish ladies as it filled with water. Luckily, Archie and the dog Pete were able to find a way to open the doors. Good boys. That's great, but now we're being pulled down the hallway by all this rushing water. Good thing I can swim. The four of you were swept away by a deluge of water as Archie found the latch on the outside to release. You're welcome, by the way. The portcullis? Cullises? Portcullises. Um, portcullis? Yeah, portcullises. And uh, the water rushed out. Now, the three of you, uh, a couple of you, I think, had a, an option to either go through the passageway that you have not been through yet, but everyone chose to go out the same way you came in. And you were pushed back towards, uh, towards Archie and then back from whence you came in the earlier parts of the dungeon. So right now what is happening is that you are all tumbling underwater. Uh, you are having trouble writing yourself first off. You're going to have trouble breathing here shortly. The one thing that three of you know, um, that's going to be Marg Bark. Osiris and Six is that there are sirens in the water. It is immediately problematic uh, for you, Archie, because you are you are the most surprised by this this water coming out of this door. Yeah, but um, I raged as soon as I opened it last time. Just so. Okay, cool. So as soon as you see this come out and as soon as you're hit by it, uh, it basically just ignites your fucking water. Yeah, <laughs> your survival instinct. So you're all pushed back. Um, so what I want from you is your as you're pushed back into these smaller tunnels and are kind of tumbling over with all this water pushing forward. Go ahead and tell me what you want to try and do with the idea that there are logs also being shoved through these uh, these cave passages um, and each other are kind of floating around somewhere. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of, kind of take this as an initiative roll. So everyone go ahead and roll initiative. Um, oh, so we're out shit. of the original combat. I was wondering if you kept initial ro initiative No, this is going to be a separate time. thing because it's also slightly problematic for the sirens for the, for the uh, initial point. Yeah, okay. All right. So, six, what you got? Ten. Archie, what you got? I got a 25. No, I'm just playing. Oh. Damn. But I did get a 19. Nice. Mark Bark, ah. what you got? 13. Oh, Cyrus, what you got? Uh, eight plus three, 11. 
That's how math works. Yep. I can okay. do it sometimes. All right. So uh, what's going to happen? Archie, you're going to have uh, first up to decide what you want to do. Uh, so it's going to go Archie, Mark, Bark, Osiris, and Six. Um, and all of you can kind of... Um, you can try and see if you can locate each other as an action. These are all going to be quick things, so not quite like combat. So you decide one action, and then we'll, we'll move down, um, and we'll, we'll figure that out from there. Okay, sound good? So we yeah. can't see one another? You, I mean, you're tumbling. Yeah, yep. okay. Um, so you can, you can if you try to, uh, but that'll be basically... You know what? I'll give you two things. I'll give it action, bonus action. Bonus action can be very simple things. Look for someone else. Try and figure out, you know, something. But your movement or any sort of swimming towards something is going to be an action. So um, you can do basically a perception check and then an action. Cool. All right, Archie. What do you do? Uh, Yeah, I guess I'm going to try to, like, find out where my comrades are. All right, roll that perception. If you get a 10... You get, you can see one. Uh, if you get a 13, you can see two. If you see it as 16, you can see three. All right, I got two then, so I can see two. Okay. I didn't get all two. I got, well, actually, no. Sorry, I got a 17 total, so. You could see all three uh, of them. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, so, so basically, as this water pushes you back, you kind of are able to write yourself enough to keep an eye, and you could see, you can actually see a, a lot of dots in here, but the closer ones, you can notice are six Mark Bark and Osiris. Um, all right, cool. Um, yeah. All right, uh, I bite my uh, hand until it bleeds, so I take damage. All right, cool. So you keep that damage up, so you maintain rage. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to take off, but... Um, just roll 1d4. Okay. All right, uh, so next up, we're going to go to Marg Bark. What do you do? Uh, so are we, so we're being swooshed in this deluge of water. Yes. Yeah. Is it is, deluge? Are, are we like... Is it, have, have I been saying it deluge. wrong the whole time? I've heard it, I've heard it both ways. Deluge, deluge and de- I've deluge. It. I've heard it both ways I always ways said well. deluge. De- now I can't even fucking say del- it. Damn. Deluge. <laughs> deluge. De- 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 whatever. I don't know de- which way it's right. Deluge. Just or put extra letters. Deluge. De- We're de- being deluge. swept away by a fuck ton of water, you right? You are. It's, it's, tor- it's so, torrential. Torrential. The torrent. Is this one of them del Deluge's. Deluge's. <laughs> Day Luigi. I like how we've taken this so, very intense moment. We've just kind of slowed it the fuck down. Yeah, we have. All right. What is do? there? Are we like, is, is there anything I can reach uh, like to the sides of the water or like anything I can reach to maybe grab onto? Uh, to you remember as, as you entered into this, this uh, chamber um, in that pathway, there were, there were sconces that lined the walls. So you can attempt to try and grab one of those. It is going I'm to be rather difficult. I'm going to try to snag difficult. one. Okay. All right. I'm going to so, try to snag one. Yep. That's going to be, um, I'm thinking a, an athletic. Intimidation? All right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's intimidate that, that Scott's <laughs> into your head. Um, no, go ahead and go ahead and give me uh, an athletic check to see if you can get yourself over to these sconces while, while you're being pushed by all this water. Uh, it's a 15 plus two, 17. That'll do it. So you're able to um, use all your strength. Um, and push yourself over to one of these sconces and you grab onto it. Now, as you're holding onto it, you can feel that it's not going to be too sturdy for very long. But for now, you're able to hold on to it. And you do realize that as you stay here, um, you can kind of, uh, you know, you, you assume that eventually these sirens will be rushed by you. So that is something to keep mind of. All right. Okay. So so I get a bonus action here yeah, as well? Yeah, you do a bonus action for some sort of perception check or something else if you can justify it. Now that I have a stable position, will it be decently easy for me to kind of pick my head up and look for my comrades? I will let you have it at advantage. Ah, nice. Same roll, 10, 13, 16. Ooh, it's a 19. Very nice. Hell All right. Yeah. Yes, you're able to see. Uh, you know, with a, with a 19, because you got a 17, correct, Bruce? Yeah. Okay. With a 19, you're actually able to pinpoint the sirens as well. And um, you can see only one of them has current control of uh, their movement in the water. The other two are also caught up in the current. Gotcha. Plopping away. Plopping we'll plan away. ahead. Yep. All are they? Is everyone that I can see behind me? 
in this in this water? I'm trying to reimagine. So six would have been the one that's coming out last in here. We're at, we'll actually use the uh, no, this initiative I would, order. I would think I'd be the one coming out first because I was underwater. Remember? Yeah. You were, but I, I pictured because you swam down and went like further into the chamber to be closer to the siren. Oh, yeah. So he was on the other side. That's fine. Yep, yeah. Yeah. But what I will do is I will use this initiative order to um, to to kind of have it, you know, where your position along the line is. And I think it makes sense. Uh, so Archie is, of course, behind you uh, further into this chamber um, or into the uh, the hall. Uh and then um, Osiris is up next coming towards you. And then you can see off in the distance six, who is pretty close to one of the sirens. Now, is it the siren? It is. So the one that has control is the closest to six. Ben, okay, so it's behind six and like gaining on him yes. kind of thing. Yep. Are we fully cool. submerged? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was We're just making sure. Underwater. I thought so. 100%. How long can we hold our breath? And how A long minute. is all this taking? I think breath holding it's is six seconds. It's, it's six seconds time per based. Turn. So, yeah. yeah. So you got ten turns okay. before gotcha. you're you're gonna be out of breath. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, a character can hold their breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus their Constitution modifier. So uh, keep an keep an eye on that one plus your Constitution modifier, um, which is the number of minutes. So okay, I got three minutes then. Damn. So right. yeah, that's all. That's that's a a quite time. a while. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're good. To right. give you perspective, somebody with like a 10 and everything with no modifiers, that would be your average human. So everybody here who is fighting sirens and flying through the cave, we are all far above average yeah, humans well above at average. everything yes. we do. So just to <clears throat> clarify. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, so that is Marg Bark's turn. Osiris, what do you do? Um... Uh... So, okay, when you said that there's, like, the... I guess I can't physically see it because I haven't done any kind of checks yet. But you did say metagaming. You did say there was one, like, approaching six. Can I, like, try know. to... Can, okay, can I spot the bad guys? If you would like to use that as your bonus action. Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. I would like to use that as my bonus action. Let's go ahead and get that one out of the way. Uh, roll, I'm just rolling roll perception. A and if you're okay. trying to get a beat on uh, the sirens, mm -hmm. then it'll be the same rolls. It'll just be for the sirens. So you either choose the sirens or your party. Hmm. You roll well, well you, enough, you can get some information on both. I mean, I don't really have a personal connection to these guys yet, so I'm going to look for the enemies, to be honest okay. with you. Go ahead and roll. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah, okay. fair. Yeah, 17, yeah, very fair. 17 plus 3, so. Oh, you 20. see everybody. Oh, pff, okay. Yeah. You see fucking everyone. You see, so you're going to beat on my, everyone. That was my bonus action, so I can still do like an action action, right? Mm-hmm. Can I like try to try to? Oh, is the one that's near Will? Is that the one that we were attacking that like was circling Will already? Yes. Who's and that's Will? the one that I yeah, hit Will? earlier. Yeah, who's, who's that Will? Sorry, who's, six, six, six. Who's this who? Will person? Who? I will, and I got a small pee pee. Yeah, I got a. <laughs> Sorry, that's about right. The one that was attacking six <laughs> is the one that was circling him, and the one that we uh. attacked. Yes, I the hit. one circling six was the most damaged, and that is the and one that's next that's the one him. that is approaching one. Okay, or six. Oh. Um, I would like to... I think I want to go ahead and cast Moonbeam. All right, tell me if that... Uh, what are the components of that? Because we uh, do do... We don't ooh. do... We don't do, like, you need to do thing. You need... But but verbal and uh, hand movement, was that so, semantic? Verbal and somatic? It's all, all VSOM, yeah. That is going to be very difficult. You do have air in your lungs and you do, you are able to move your hands. So I will need a... Mm. Wait, actually, I want to redact mm. this because I have a question because this is my first time going Druid. How does Wild Shape work? Because uh, is Wild Shape a bonus action or an action? You have the potential. I will allow that as an action in, in this because you've already used your bonus action. So it will take okay. that slot. Um, so I might just not yeah. attack then, and I would like to wild shape as, um, like, one of the lower level ones as an octopus. I feel like I would have seen an octopus. Dope, yes. dope, 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 dope. Yes. yes. I was going to say, so I feel good. like an octopus I would have seen before in my life, so. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, you have it. It's and good. with the octopus, they're good at being stealthy, huge dark vision range. Oh, no, wait, no, sorry, dark vision, uh, very stealthy, 
Uh, and if I get caught or in trouble, I can use my ink cloud to run away. Oh, hell yes. All right. Which so the ink, uh, everyone that <laughs> you, you see Osiris, um, you basically, yeah, tell, tell me how, this is the first time you're wild shaping. Uh, so tell me what changes, how does this work for you? So from what I understand, like, I can still keep all the, the items and stuff. Like, it's not like I shed my clothing or anything. Like, right. I mean, maybe I won't have clothes, but, like, my didgeridoo somehow just straps onto my, <laughs> my dorsal It becomes fin. a tentacle. <laughs> it becomes a tentacle. Octopus don't have dorsal fins. I mean, fin. they have those little, like, fins at the, the top, <laughs> don't they? Like, those That's are, a like, their That's breath a squid. holes or something. I'm just imagining a, a little octopus with a didgeridoo on his back. That's what I yeah, want. Yeah, that's, that's what I was imagining. Little, little, I'm imagining an octopus, octopus in a dress. Yeah. You guys are weird. I was just imagining a regular octopus. <laughs> I was too. Um, so it attaches onto the octo- octopi, octopuses, octopu- octopuses. Okay. Uh, yeah. well, <laughs> uh, uh, well, yep. Yep. Hey, you know, that is the plural form octopus of octopus. Octopus-i? octopus I? Octopus I? It's just octopus. Onto it's the just, octopus. It's all octopus. Is back, and uh, now I'm just like floating around. I imagine myself being a little orange guy. I want to be orange. All right, cool. So uh, everyone that has a beat on Osiris, you kind of see uh, her, you know, st- sprout a couple of extra arms that kind of turn into these floppy things, and then into tentacles, and then she shrinks down, and her uh, whole body becomes octopusian. Uh, and there's <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll do we'll do the uh, the old didgeridoo can be wherever he, it, wherever it didgeridoo does. Um, uh, yep. And and she orange, so hey, that's great. Emily, your items can either merge into the creature, drop like drop them, and in this case, you probably won't get them back. Or uh, three, you can just wear them, but that's not going to be very practical. So I would just say your stuff merges into the octopus. Okay, I absorb. <laughs> just. I become the didgeridoo, so anytime I Except speak, the it's didgeridoo. I will, didgeridoo, didgeridoo, I will like, give you. I will give you in our in our game in our universe. The didgeridoo is the only thing that you can have shrink down to the size of whatever. Oh animal. yes, yeah. Yes. So it's wearing this didgeridoo. Yep. <laughs> I love it. Didgeridoo. Yep. Shout out to Tanner. So yep. didgeridoo don't lose that thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, conjure didgeridoo spell. All right. Uh, so that's that's the end of your current round. Um, you've got a lot of options next round. That's really good. All right, six. Yeehaw. What do you do? All right, six is gonna fire his uh, um, laser anchors into the side of the wall, kind of hold him there. Okay, actually, yeah, laser go ahead. Uh, roll that. You're not me, a please. Swiss Army Warforged, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a it's a DC thirty two for you to have those. So go ahead and roll. Well, I did roll a three. Oh, hey, you got one of the numbers in there. Yep. Uh, that's it. Oh, wait, let me roll again. And oh, I, roll, I actually okay. rolled a two, so you should give it to me. I got Oh, my... no, I shouldn't. And that's okay, not how that fine. Works. All right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll roll perception, see if I see everybody. Go for it. 10, 13, 16. Um, that is a 13 plus 5, 18. 18. You get a beat on everybody, not on the sirens, however. No. Okay. Uh, can I? Do I at least? I can't. So I can't see any of the sires. Not even the one that's right at me. I mean, I will give you that. You know, one is right around you. But being pushed back in through this and trying to like right yourself and see everyone else, especially since they're all behind you down the um, down this cave uh, passage, you you get them, uh, but you don't see the other siren. Okay. That's right. Uh, do I have control of myself? Not unless you want to try and get it. I think it's... I want to just say that it's funny that you've had everyone else's round to formulate what you're going to do. I, I did. I, I had my laser anchors and you shut it down. I don't get oh, it. Oh, yeah. They, so you thought of a joke All that time, time. That's what you wow. came up with. What laser he really did, anchors. Like, what he really did in game, though, is he just stuck his hands out with his fingers pointed. Yep. That's all he did. He but it, it didn't even reach the sides. Um, okay. He expected some cool shit. So what I would like to do is get the fuck out of there. All right. <laughs> like, oh, okay. okay. I'll just get some control of myself. How do I do that? Uh, yeah. To, in order to do balance, that'll be an athletics check. Athletics check. Good. Um, I want to, I'm going to like stand on the bottom and kind of usher everybody else out. Cause I know that they're air breathers. <laughs> 
Uh, you are the last one out. So like, ushering. What would you get on the roll? And I'll I'll, I'll say what to, what what kind of stuff you might. Well, be able I, I to wish I'd do where the sirens are because I could do some stuff there. Um, how about this? Can I? Uh, while I get control of myself, I'm in that little doorway. This water's rushing out. Can I brace uh, myself in the doorway and try to keep the sirens behind me that are? That are I don't know if they're behind me or not, but I, my plan is to try and keep the sirens back there. You if can I, attempt if they're to, back there, you can attempt to grab onto like the ledge from the doorway into the passageway. Uh, but I mean, it's not it's not wide enough for you to like brace yourself uh, wall to wall, or it's, yeah, uh, it's wider than you are. I'm, I'm creating yeah, this, I'm, I'm create the distraction. Yeah. My, my athletics roll was a seventeen plus five. So okay, let me make the sure. Twenty-two. Hold on. Nope, nope. Seventeen plus two. Sorry. 19. Okay, 19. So that might make a difference. Okay, tell me exactly what you're trying to do. I am going to. Uh, I don't. I, I guess I can't. I can't really say anything. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna turn on my uh, my music player in the thing and try to get no. them to notice me. What music player? What? I, I'm singing with my mouth. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm making noise. I want to get them to come after me, since okay. I don't need to breathe. So with that athletics check, what are you doing? You're grabbing onto this at the Grab edge of the door portcullis. Door. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you accomplished that. One hundred percent. Okay. Uh, and Osiris, but you have no trouble hearing what he's trying to do. You you can with your octopus ears. Ears? I don't I don't know how they hear. I However, they hear my you hear that. octopus ears with two of my eight tentacles because it sounds like shit. Yeah, it's probably a good call. He didn't roll performance, <laughs> so we're just going to say it's below average. It's bad. It's, it's bad. bad. It's real bad. I rolled a seven uh, mm-hmm. plus negative one, so six on my performance. You don't it's have, very bad. You don't have another thing to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That was for performance. I was doing it for mm-hmm. fun, Tanner. Calm mm-hmm. your titties. He is. So now it's going to be uh, the sirens The sirens movement um, after you because they were farther into this cave. Let's see how they are affected by... Sixes ballad. <laughs> yeah, call it like a taunt roll. Okay. Um the one that was already on you stays on you. Comes right for you. And uh because you were trying to be a deterrent slash distraction, it grabs onto you since you're hanging there in that portcullis area. Dope. And uh, uses you to, I mean, it was already writing itself, um, but it's going to start trying to pull back against the current and pull you against it. So go ahead and give me an athletics check to see if you can hold on to this wall. I need another 17 plus two, please. <gasps> Nat 20! Holy Woo! shit. All right. Plus two. Nice. Natural you- 20. Hold on. I just like to show my nat 20s. Look at that. Can you see it? You can't even. Well, so we can't see it. It's it's great. It doesn't even matter. It's, it's, I could pick up dice, but you like, oh, he's just got a 20 on it. I, it's everyone not a nat believes 20 you. to all our viewers. He's fucking lying. It's no, just a I saw, liar. I saw Bruce's face immediately goes, come on, right? Come, come on. on. <laughs> all right. For this, in this moment, you can take control of this grapple. So I will give you an extra action here. Very quickly think of it, Will, and stop trying to show off your dice. What do you do? I'm, I don't get many nat 20s. I'm super excited. All right. What do you do? I kick him. <laughs> okay. All right. I That's a good reaction. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Go go ahead. Uh, back into the cavern or into the passageway? I, I'm Okay. In my mind, Six is facing into the cavern. He's facing into the cavern to, like, see. Or, or no. I guess if I was being pushed out, I'd be facing towards the other way. So, so you're donkey kicking this. Yes, exactly. He's grabbing me from behind, I imagine. I'm a donkey kick him right in his private parts. That's what I'm this saying. Is a, this is a lady siren. Right in her He's private gonna parts. He's going to donkey kick the lady siren so she doesn't donkey punch you. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, I God. apologize for all of this. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, go thought, ahead and roll that. What's a donkey uh, punch? Oh, Imagine being. I explained it in great detail. I was about to say that. You fucking beat me. <laughs> That's the dialogue. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Oh, it's gone bad. Mom, if you ever watch gone this, bad. I'm sorry. 
Mom, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry. Yeah, this one's Ooh. getting labeled not for children. Good God. Okay. Oh, the other ones were not? <laughs> I mean, no, they all have been, but this one for sure. Six, you are able to push yourself enough in this current to kick backwards as this thing tries to grab you. Go ahead and roll damage because you got a nat 20. Um, so this will be... It, that thing was already hurt be, a little bit too, wasn't it? It, it is. So it'll be a yeah. D4 because you're just kicking it. But so I don't need to roll for it to hit it because I did hit it. No, yeah, you I, hit it. Okay. I'm gonna, yeah, okay. Two D four plus your strength modifier. I rolled a three plus four plus my strength modifier is plus two. So nine damage. So nine damage. All right. It, it did. Who are you, fucking Leonidas? It's very good. Very good. Very good. This is Lear. You know what I'm saying? All right. Six. You kick this thing and do a decent amount of damage for just doing a kick. Um, She begins to tumble backwards now. She's lost control in this. And as she slips uh, underneath you because she's gone far enough after losing control, she actually hits her head on the floor and you see her no longer moving uh, in like a, in a, in a way to try and fight the current. Oh, nice. And uh, she just, the, the, the creature just starts flowing down. Uh, and, and everyone who has a rolled a decent perception, which I think is everyone, can, can see that um, she's not fighting the current. Archie points and laughs. Wait, so this is the one that had her wits about her, right? It is. Ah, so now we have three sirens, three of which do not have control over their bodies. Correct. They are all discombobulated. Correct. Dope. Um, okay, so um, the other two... Uh, one is able to right itself in the cavern, um, starts making its way towards U6, uh, but doesn't Damn have it. the action to do so. The other one still has no control and um, is just kind of sliding past. Um, I will give you an attack of opportunity at disadvantage on this. So go ahead and roll me a d20. Well, I'm not letting go of my hands. It, it, this is all for six. They're trying to slide past me because I'm blocking that door. This yep. was... You know what? I don't make a lot of great decisions in Dungeons and Dragons. This one felt pretty good. Like I feel like I I'm need doing to stop something giving here. Yourself, you need you to stop giving yourself so much credit and thank me Dude. for being so benevolent with with allowing all of this shit to happen. Uh, you it tried was a to stop me. That you, made. you tried to stop me. Rolled a nat twenty. So I tried to help. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick this one. Uh, if it's roll, it go, it's gonna try to go under me because I imagine I'm yeah yeah. I'm gonna it's just not trying it. to do anything. It is just tumbling. Disadvantage. So that is a 13 on dice and a two. So the two stands. No, it does not hit. So it would be plus five, I guess, but does a nine hit? No, no, seven. A nine does not hit. Either way, it's fine. Womp womp. Womp womp. Womp womp. All right, cool. I killed one with a kick, dude. I kicked it so hard it died. Like, <laughs> I mean, technically, it didn't uh, you die kicked it and the current it slammed its head into the rock. So yeah. the rock did it. You didn't even get that. No, it's fine. So, yeah. so Frazier, for your knowledge, if an NPC goes unconscious, it dead. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, they don't get that. Oh, well, they do get death saves, I guess. Standard. Well, the problem is every NPC I've brutalized after we've killed them. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. or after we've knocked them out, so we haven't had the chance. Yeah. Or NPCs Daniel gets might turned get into death saves. Boy. Enemy creatures do not get death saves. All right. Okay. Um, we are back up to Archie. Archie, you you could see all this happen, uh, and you could see this unconscious, potentially, siren barreling towards you in the current. You can also see the one that... Because you got a beat on all of them, right? No, you didn't. But you can... So you can see the one that's that, that Six knocked out. Along with everyone else. Okay. But I have control of myself, um, right? You saw everyone, and you, I think, tried to right yourself. So, yeah. Right where those are two... Was those are the two things that you did? No, you beat yourself. I just, I... No, you're tumbling. You're tumbling, but you're raged. Uh, that's, that's the important part. Yeah. Okay, so um, this time I'm going to use my bonus action to bite myself. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'll give it. All right, cool. Uh, oh, that's not a problem. Hey, I'm going to take me. I took a big old chunk out of my hand. Other hand this time. Don't want to 
make it unusable. Yeah, why would you do your hand though? Like you have to grip swords and axes and shit. Why don't you just like bite your wrist? I mean, have you ever seen Attack it's on Titan? Easy. He goes, I hate well, it. yeah, kind of, <laughs> but like, no, it's way easier. You'd be surprised. My wrist is very bony. If I were to bite my wrist, it would take a lot of fucking force. Yeah, but it still hurts. Blood. All right. Ow. So you, yeah, you... but it says take damage, not just hurt. So I'm like, oh, okay. All probably right. needs to at least draw blood in this case. Anyway, it's fine. you've but accomplished it. Um, he's raged, right, so it, it, he actually had damage resistance because teeth are piercing. I I will say, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I guess so. I don't, fucking know. I don't care. It's fine. I don't care. I don't <laughs> actually want the damage resistance. Okay. I was just being a smartass. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. So I took damage, mm-hmm. and now I'm going to use my action to right myself. Okay. Just bite your Go ahead and roll off. those athletics. Did you just tell me to bite my pee pee? <laughs> yep. Pinky. That's what she said. Pee pee. No. Yep. Oh, that exactly. She grows back, Boop. right? Not the. No, oh. no. The- <laughs> Are you talking about Attack on t- or, uh, 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 Tokyo Ghoul? Yeah. Oh, really? He does an Attack on Titan, too. Yeah, that's right. Not yeah, the pee pee, okay. the pinky. By your PP, what's that? That uh, what, the, what that athletics do? <laughs> uh, Fifteen. Okay, you are able to take control um, as you swim through this current. You're able to right yourself um, and keep your position, looking at everything in front of you, because uh, everyone is is in one direction from you. Anybody who can hear anything would hear me go. Both my boy. After I saw six, uh, oh, kick kick him. yeah, thing to death. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> all right, I'm done. My turn's over. Mark Bark. Uh, oh yeah. All right, I'm hanging on the sconce on the wall. You are, and I can see everybody. Uh, let me remind. Okay, Archie is behind me. The rest are in front of me. So six is not moving though, right? I yeah, six is no longer moving. Everyone else is. It, I mean kind of moving in the direction like it's a it's a torrent so i should have said you guys are pushed back uh an unknown distance by this current as you keep going down the hallway back towards the initial chamber where you found the two dead bodies and and brutalized them and kicked them into the water it's really weird does eldritch blast work underwater it (laughs) does i mean it's magic does eldritch blast have uh any like casting components you have to say Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast has verbal and somatic components. Okay, so yeah, so it'll be difficult to do it under here. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to just try to Eldritch Blast the the siren that has its wits about it. Okay, so Fuck it. All we're just gonna, what I'm going to ask you to do is just roll for concentration. Okay. Do I add anything to that? Um, Probably not, So right? the concentration check... Is just going to be. I think you have to do your the con save. I think. Yeah. So you roll. Well, I rolled a thirteen. What's your constitution modifier? Uh, plus two. Yeah, he's probably a fifteen, Tanner. Okay, the DC equals ten or half the damage you take, whichever. We're not doing that. So ten, just ten. So roll past the ten and make it a constitution saving throw. So constitution saving throw. Yep. What'd you roll? 13. 13. Plus two. All right. You're at plus two. Yeah. 15. Um, yeah. 15. Yep. That passes. So go ahead and uh, which one are you trying to target? The the one that has its wits about it. Okay. Shit. That's a four. Four damage. Damn, why can't I remember what I... Well, no. I Wait. So do I roll to attack or is that... Oh, yeah. You still get a roll to attack. Yeah. So my attack roll was a four. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah, as you're yeah. trying to cast this spell, uh, you send it forward and the current just makes your hands move back. And oh, I guess that is plus seven to hit, by the way. Four plus seven? Yeah. Still doesn't hit. Okay. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're fine. All that shit happens and it hits a wall. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Basically, think of it as like your mental capacity to be able to focus on the spell, but you still gotta aim the motherfucker, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah basically. Yeah. Aim was not so good. Aim not great. You're like, oh, I'm good, I'm ready for it, but... Uh, it makes a fart noise as it splashes against the wall. Oh, is that your bonus action? <laughs> oh, no, you... It, it, <laughs> makes a, it makes a fart. Got it, okay. Yeah. Oh, Alright. Uh, bonus action time. Yep. Um, shit. I can already yeah. see everybody. And you're holding yeah, on already... You're holding on to the sconce still. Yeah, how is it feeling? I mean, it's rough. It's like if you don't keep your mouth closed for long enough, it's like a 
you know, just pushes water down your throat. Well, you were saying the sconce before was like not. Thank so you. Oh like my god, you're so be, nice. It, wow. Oh, fuck. Wow, Maybe I should. Wow. That's like asking the teacher if you have homework. Damn it. What yes, a, yes, it was. That's exactly I'm a what fucking it was. idiot. It loosens a little, but it stays connected to the wall. Ugh. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I still have to come up with a bonus action. Shit. Yeah. That's your bonus action. You shit. <laughs> I I literally shit. Hold on, let's Gross. see. Let me look at mine. I use prestidigitation to make the water warmer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, everyone, roll perception for me. Feels like I peed myself. I'm I'm just gonna. Two. I don't really care. Oblivious. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You're you, up you farther my, anyway. You want my you know passive? It's seventeen. Care. I don't care. Everyone thinks they're like, oh, someone peeing in the water. It's good. It's good in a tense situation. You're all very welcome. Yeah. All right. Yep. Price your pee. Moving on. Mark all right. Uh, I mean, we are being swept down a rushing river at someone's high speeds. gotta. Yeah. You know. Like, I'm scared. I'll pee myself. I mean, cool. what can you do? Sometimes you just gotta go. Okay. Osiris, what do you do? She just told you. She pees herself. Oh, okay, cool. So, uh, ink. Full turn. All right, my Is turn. Ink? No, 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 no. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> we are all out of, like, that room, right? And then Six oh, yeah, is for sure. holding... And then Six is holding the fort between us and them kind of thing? Um, one has gone past him. Um, the last one has not yet. I thought there were three. Yeah, there were three. One there has were. been knocked out. One has gotten <laughs> one past sliding him. Oh, against yeah, the, the knocked floor. Out one. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> All, the only other options I have are to literally attack or do nothing. So, I mean, I guess I can... How far away is it from me? Should I attack? I mean, I you can you could potentially reach it. It is difficult terrain, so it's going to half your stuff because you're swim- swimming against a current. But I'm an octopus, man. I can... I, I, yeah, which is why you're able to go through. against the current. Um... I don't know. Uh, d- d- b- I've had all this time to figure it out, and now yeah, I don't know. You're pulling a will. I mean, like, Good job. Way to pull a will. Well, they are related. <laughs> That's true. Ha 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 ha. Um, I mean, the damage ain't that much, so you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna octopus all over that one that's escaped's face. Um, <laughs> 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 Hundred percent, hundred percent face sucker. That okay? Go ahead and roll uh, an athletics check to see if you can swim towards them first. Okay. Oh, nat twenty. <laughs> ah, yes, oh, you make it. Yeah. You jettison all the way to their face and just, I mean, face hugger, wrap around. And I just it completely on it. <laughs> yeah, they just see this, this creature just sees all these tentacles and this this ga- gaping suction holes just coming towards it. Wait, Gross. wait, can uh, since she rolled that twenty, can she ink? Well, I wouldn't need to because I mean I'm already grappling yeah, but... their face. Uh, I I've already allowed it to be a movement and an action in there, so no. Okay. And plus, in the in the ink cloud description, it says, um, uh, although a significant current can dispense disperse the ink. Excuse me. So. Yeah, and it also would temporarily make things pretty difficult for everyone else. I feel like it, it wouldn't be by. really useful in this situation. Okay, so you so on that face? Them. You have a I'm you have a bonus face. action. Oh, so I have like a little like. Suctiony mouth thing at the bottom of like the tentacles. I'm just like sucking well, you have on their suction face, cups or... on the bottom. You have a beak as well. Yeah, that's what I meant. The beak. Yeah, yeah like can I like beak at their face? Give a little munch. That is that is well, that nibble. is an action. Oh well, then yeah. bonus action. I don't know. I'm just gonna kiss them. I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight legs worth of kisses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way more fucking terrified now than I would have been if you just bit me. Imagine getting kissed by an octopus. Um, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's see. Uh... <laughs> All right. Um, I wasn't rolling for them to fight or anything, but to see how how disoriented they were from this natural twenty. So um, they can't <laughs> see, well. but you don't. You don't uh, like. This will affect them in the future. It doesn't affect them um, extra right now. Um, all right. Six. More. Everything uh, except for this last siren um, has passed by you. What do you do? Hmm. I feel like I want to grab the siren. No, hold on. 
it's so it's so lame because I guess I just want to stay in the uh, doorway then and kind of kind of play body play goalie. Everyone these, will these... soon pass you by as soon as this siren is gone, and you probably except me, right? Yeah, uh, I'm should be ahead of him already, right? Well, no, every uh, no, I'm in no, the doorway to the be cavern, in the farther in the passageway. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prepare an action to when that thing swims under me. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of like adjust myself to where I can just throw myself and grab it real quick on the tail or, or body. Grab it. Right, I I will require an athletics check when that happens to make sure you can yep. get down to it. But uh, yeah, yep. all right. Uh, bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna release my oxygen tanks that I keep on my body. Yes. Okay. Here's what I will actually translate that into. You can <laughs> you can release whatever mechanism you have that keeps you from not having to breathe underwater and put yourself in great risk of all your internals Ooh, flooding. Yeah. That's a that's a good point. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I still don't think that would matter though. Uh. I mean, he would. I would allow that to make you sink. I would allow Ooh, that to okay. make you sink. No, no. no. Uh, that would also make me very heavy too, presumably, right? Um, yeah, later. Like, it's weight fine. underwater in a current, you're sinking, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, it would make you heavy, yeah. Touche, Dungeoneer. You tell me I can't put a hair dryer underwater, but we can put a six underwater? I mean, he ain't electric, it's He's magic. magic, not about, electricity. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, isn't exactly. he not, like, circuits? Parts? No. no? Yeah, maybe, but they're run by magic. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe magical circuits. magic circuit, hair dryer, sure. then. Yeah, I mean... What's in six? No, seriously, Warforges are magic. Yeah, like they, that's legit. Yeah, <laughs> he is. He is organic metal. People and tell magic. me it's bad to put a toaster in the water, but I can't. Robot is a very loose description for six. Yeah, more robots a, a very bad description. He, and we he, we put we put book were book one as Archie and the Android. He ain't an Android either. I mean, but he kind of he kind of Android. I mean, kind of more Android though. Yeah. I mean, Android's maybe a better. Metal. Metal. Can he be an sure. iPhone, not an Android? Um, Alright, the two stupid, sirens are gonna stupid. do their shit. <laughs> uh, one of them do it, sirens. The one of them has, that has already passed uh six is going to With attempt to <laughs> rip the octopus off. So this is going to be a contested strength roll. I will give you advantage on this strength roll, Emily. Fourteen plus The octopus's strength. Oh. Not yours. Minus three. Oh shit. Minus three. Oh. Eleven. No. Did okay. you roll twice? Oh, advantage? Oh sorry. sorry. Yeah, advantage. Sixteen my oh, 13. thirteen. Okay, thirteen. Do I win? Winner goes to the uh, octopus, right? Yeah. Is it a tie? The creature, the siren, the potentially deadly thing that has claws <laughs> on their hand. Doesn't use the claws against you, instead tries to rip you from its face. But you're just too slick, baby. <laughs> you stay. Let it roll. You stay. Let it roll. 12. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Nice. Uh, yeah, you stay stuck. I'm going to kiss it again. <laughs> <laughs> it files for sexual harassment. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a lawyer Never roll, please. Uh, <laughs> um, mm. Seventeen. Roll for oh, oh, you lawyer, win. It's fine. Uh, for some reason, yeah, you've, your lawyer was better. You, you called Saul. Um, better call Saul. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. This all happened in the matter of six seconds. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. That's how D and D works. It's all magic. You know, those like family. His guy, number's like, really easy to remember. It's like three, 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 three. Yeah, I thought it was all fives. Five, 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 five. Oh, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, five, five, five. The five, Family five, Guy five, cut five. scenes where we just cut to the feature and it's like, hmm. Yeah, like this is all supposed to be a really tense moment, but like, <sighs> yeah, it is. It is. Okay, <laughs> all right. The second one is now sliding past six. We're gonna see if it can write itself and avoid you. It does. It rolls very well on its athletics check and is able to dip down beneath you far enough. Uh, to where you're going to have to really try and fight to get down to it with that athletics check. Go ahead Go and roll ahead. it. All right, let's do it. Here we go. You have to beat a 16. <laughs> hey, Eric, you're drinking. So what did, what did you roll? A five plus two. <laughs> All right. Seven. That's pretty close uh, to 16. Killed yeah, it. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. You push yourself down to try and get uh, on, on top and wrap around this thing. Um, but it is able to right itself and swim around you, and you just plunk on the bottom. Boom. And now you are taken by this current. 
Um, at the end of this entire round, you're all pushed back even farther. Uh, and now you can all see this because you basically all are, you know, have positioned yourselves well enough. Um, I'll even give it to you, Six, just because it'll help out. Uh, the entrance that you came in through is sealed. The water is not pushing out towards the end of Green Hollow Cave. Instead, what it's doing is pushing you back into that initial cavern um, that dipped down into the water and you found the siren and the woman's body at the edge. You're going into that room now and you can see the space open up all around you. The current isn't as strong here, but you can tell soon you'll be swept down into that area and underneath the stone into an area you don't have any idea uh, of what's down there. Um, So that is what is going to happen next round. After this round, you're going to be swept underneath that stone. Um, In this area, because the water has just come in here, Archie, you're especially aware of this because of your positioning. There is uh, a gap between the water and the air at the top of the cavern. And you can actually see that the water level is lowering. There's not enough water coming from wherever this was to fill this volume. Hello, dear listeners. It's Will, and I've got Tanner here with me. And Under we the are... sea. Yeah, okay. All right. So this, this is definitely not the second time we've recorded this, and well, he did not sing a song the first time. Yeah, the, the first time it was Hello, Darkness. Uh, it's not the sea, Tanner. We're friends, not under the, the sea. I don't care where we are. Like, where it's close enough. It's give me an underwater song, Will. Please go now. Water song. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Heads underwater, but okay. All right, you know what? I don't even know. This doesn't sound. That's, that's John fun. Legend. I don't. I don't know, you don't that, know, song. That's why I know that song. John Legend. Jesus Christ! A fine artist. Hi, thanks for listening to this episode. Are you saying this John Legend's fine? Oh my God! I said he's is. You know what? Yeah, yeah, sure. He is good looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we know this. I'm not mad about guys. It. Thank you for joining us for our 24th episode. We're quickly approaching a year, and this has been a really good year thus far. It's been more than we had hoped for, and for that, we say... It's not saying, is that, is that good not for, saying anything. Is that good You're for podcasts? Yeah, it's good. I give you we're, golf we're clap. We're figuring it out. Yeah, um, we're fingering it out. We're f- okay. <laughs> hey, if you enjoy this podcast, please consider sharing it with your friends and family and your enemies. Hell, it's a long recording. Maybe they'll just go get bored to death. Oh, Tanner, uh, can you help me real quick? Sure. How how would one share our social media accounts? What what do they need to look up and type well, in? You can copy links, but if you want to look it up, you can find us at Another Realm on TikTok, <laughs> YouTube, and Twitter. And the only one that's different is Instagram, which is at Another Realm Podcast. It's good. Consistency. Please. <laughs> you know what? It, just go to anotherrealm.com. If you want someone to listen to this and they can't figure out how to work a Spotify link or an iTunes they're link. They're probably not whatever, our target audience. Probably, okay. Yeah, but just go. <laughs> anotherrealm.com is where they can find all their stuff. And you can find some nerdy world building info if you want to see maps and stuff about the gods and other stuff. And soon there are going to be short stories about things other than the party. Hey, how cool is that? You're welcome. That's really cool, Tanner. You're doing such a good job, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Hey, all right, guys, apart from all the love, our next episode is coming out on June the 19th. So make sure you're following our podcast on your favorite platform so that you can see when it's released. And we got some <laughs> bonus stuff coming out too. Man, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Oh, we should end it here. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Bye. (laughs) Bye.
Got it? All right. Sweet. Act on it. Archie. I swim to the surface. All right. Go ahead and roll athletics. Nine. Uh, you attempt to try and swim to the top, and you are unable to. Uh, this current is still pulling you down towards that deeper section of water. I nibble on my pinky again. Go ahead and do it. All right. Yeah, what would you take from that? Like three, two, two, two. Yeah, right. I'm rolling d fours, right? Yeah, you're rolling cool. d fours. Good. Yeah. Okay. Plus your, plus your fucking strength, bitch. No. Oh, I mean, I can. You no, I don't want you to. You're, you're trying to. You're trying to do very little damage, but the reason why you're rolling and not just doing ones is because you're in water and being pushed. All right, Marg Bark, what do you do? All right, so I'm still holding on to the sconce, right? You are. Everyone is basically pushed by you at this point. So everyone's already passed Except me? for six and this last siren that was... Uh, so it's basically between you and that initial cavern, the siren, and then six. Hmm, shit. All right, how far is six for me, and how, like, quickly is he approaching? Uh, very fast, and 15 feet. Same for that siren. Hmm, okay. I'm going to try to, like, let go of the sconce and kind of kick off the wall towards six to see if I can, like, catch him. To, like, I'm gonna, I don't know what I can do to help anyone, and he's the only one I feel like I can do anything to help, so I'm going to at least... Make sure that we are together. Let's go, buddy system. That's good I because kick off the six, wall and catch six. Six is tumbling in this situation because you haven't made any attempt after yeah. letting go. To Let me try yourself. to stabilize him. Go ahead and roll that? athletics to see if you can get to him. Ooh, that is an eight plus two ten. Okay, not good. You are caught in the current. You're not tumbling. Uh, you can right yourself at this point, but you are not able to push against it hard enough to get towards six. Am I close enough to the wall to grab the sconce? Uh, you're you have you've gone too far from the sconce. <laughs> Another sconce is coming right up, and I will allow a bonus action to try and grab it. It is going to be very difficult uh, because this should have been an action, but it's your bonus. We got to be DC running out of air. Eighteen. Uh, we've only done three rounds of combat, which has uh, been. I get six three seconds. minutes. Yeah. Uh, okay, six yeah. times three. Eight, Eighteen seconds. Yeah. Sorry. Eighteen. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm going to try to grab the next sconce. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Go for it. DC 18. Uh, I didn't grab it. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. You tumble past it. Um, and you are pushed back towards the other cavern as well. All right. Osiris, what do you do? You're so on I the face. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. So um, in the uh, in the action description of like my said tentacles, there's a melee weapon attack that I could make. Once I make that attack, then the target is grappled. So it says I cannot, you know, until the grapple ends, I cannot use my tentacles on another target, but can I still smack a bitch with one of my tentacles? 100%. Okay, so it says plus four to hit, so let's see. <laughs> nope, I don't hit it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> that one, so. Very oh. nice. Oh. Oof. Okay. Oof. With that one, um, I need you to go ahead and Big roll oof. athletics to see if you remain holding on. Oh. Uh, nope, I don't do that either. That Would was you? a three M minus one. Okay. So, bye. Oh no. All right. Bye. Uh, yeah, you. You know, nat ones really aren't detrimental. They, I don't know if we want to keep playing like this. Are they fun when they fuck people up? Do you guys like that? I mean, yeah, I yeah. I like a little bit of yeah, yeah. yeah right. trouble. Yeah, it's it cool. has to be trouble. I think yeah. a natural twenty is always pretty much a success. Yes, you should yeah. absolutely make natural yeah, ones. you should do some punishment fun. for it's one. Fun. I just it imagine really my is. like eight little tentacles, like helicopter, like <laughs> flying. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right, yeah. As you try, as you bring one tentacle back to try and like smack a bitch, uh, you you are way too put way too much uh, strength into the backswing, and you just spiral off. Um, you do have a bonus action though. So if you uh, if you can think of a minor thing that you could do, ink. I, I will let inking uh, be a bonus action if you really want to do it. Like all nah, inking is going like to do for fuck me shit up. is like nothing because nobody's attacking me. Nobody's like in my vicinity anymore. So I mean, like, 
do I even have like a bonus action? No, I mean, even if I cast a bonus action, bonus action, it's going to cancel my wild shape. So, so, I mean, I will also let me let me say that this the siren is still disoriented, disorientated. I don't remember which is correct. Uh, so like and you are just kind of you're both floating off. So there is that. Would it be a bonus action to cast or use all of my movement to try to get my bearings together? Yes, because we're not playing with movement. Movement would have been action. I spin away like a little (laughs) flywheel. Bye-bye. Yeah, you're just like a pinwheel in the water. It's super cute. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Super cute. All right, six. Go for it. Okay. So, Six is going to grab Marg Bark and swim to the surface. You're going to attempt to grab Marg Bark and swim to the surface. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, you can you can kick forward, attempt to kick forward and push out of this chamber and up into the uh, the air above. So go ahead and this, unless you roll really well, is going to be action bonus action. Okay. Yep. Sounds okay. good to me. Go ahead and roll. 18 plus two, non-natural 20. For athletics, right? Athletics? Athletics, yep. 18 plus two. 18 plus two, non-natural 20. Nice. That is enough to do it. So you, uh, as you're kind of, as you've pushed yourself off of this top ledge and are being pushed down towards this chamber, uh, you kick up off the bottom and barrel towards Margbark, who is closest to you. Uh, you catch him and use all your strength to propel yourself forward and into the bigger chamber and up towards the air pocket. Dope. Cool. I will allow you the ability to say something as you breach the surface. I'm going to rescue Archie. Do you want to stay here? Oh my God, Six, your arms are so muscly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. That'll be it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great. I'll be back. <laughs> and I die, uh, with my movement, I'll dive back under. No, you don't. Damn it. Come on, Tanner. No, <laughs> no you don't. Movement's part. I dive. It's not It's not combat combat. That's fair. Okay. Was that meant to be flirtatious? Like It sounded. It I don't sounded know what like. it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, it was. Hey, guys, are we, is, this, is this, a, it definitely is this was. a brothers to lovers situation? Come on. <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, well, I quit, no. yes. you nasty bastard. Absolutely, Tanner, you're the worst DM ever. But also Damn it is. Ship it, yeah, so. ship it, ship it. No! Please, uh, stop it. Uh, I actually oh God, hate it here. Beer come out my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gross, Tanner. Ugh. Make <laughs> them sirens do some stuff. Slash make them do some stuff. DM. Oh, fuck. All right, yeah. the sirens. Yeah, make them the do sirens. some stuff. The siren that is closest to Osiris. The Osiren. Uh, will <laughs> first <laughs> attempt... It, you know what? As it's tumbling and knows basically your direction because you uh, unlatch from it, uh, it's just going to try and, and reach out to you. It doesn't. It's so sorry that it flung you from its face. Yeah, I want it you again. No, uh, it Reach out to you with its, <laughs> with its claws is basically what it tried to do. Um, and it it didn't. It didn't. You, you pinwheeled off quick enough to avoid it. Uh, the second Butterfly one. Butterfly in the sky. <laughs> nice. I could fly way too high. That's not the words. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> nope. It's not. Um, the other siren uh, will attempt to use everything it's got to right itself and uh, follow Margbark and Six. And it is able to do so. So basically, right when you guys breach the surface, this other thing breaches to because they don't sound great out of water. Um, and that's, that's all I actually can do uh, based on my action economy that I've created here. It's a monster. So now Arch- it's up on the surface with me? Yeah, it's up on the surface with both of you. Like, oh, you're yeah. not on the surface. You're just in an air popping. You're air- oh, wait, yeah. Popping. Six yeah. didn't yeah. actually yeah. dive. That's right. So yeah, wait, wait, okay. wait. Did, did, did it just pop up his head and look at us? Like, so- yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I'm just trying to set the scene here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It pops can- its head out. And it's like, it's pretty. Um, Give it a little wave. Yeah. I'll kiss wave. it. We've already kissed it a couple times. All right. No, no that was the other one. That was the other one. That was the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one's not as pretty as the other one. Um, all right. Uh, you're all pushed farther. Um, Mark, Bark, and Six and this siren that are up at the top. I mean, this current is still carrying you. 
Uh, and you can feel like once you get to the end of the the sort of domed roof of this segment of this cave, um, you will be dragged down violently against the rock and pulled underneath into the uh, unknown current below. Um, everyone is one round away from going down below uh, the original space of the water. Archie. So I can see this oncoming rock wall? Yeah, yeah, you know that you're being pushed towards it, and but you can tell that the current's going to try and pull you down uh, underneath the, the ledge. Okay, um, so basically what you're saying is at some point we were able to breach the surface, but inevitably it's still going to drag us further. Unless you try and grab onto the wall or something. Ah, uh, fuck that. No, I'm diving. I'm not cracking my head open against rocks. All right, okay. Yeah. And also, Archie is not at all worried because, you know, he can hold his breath for three fucking minutes, apparently. Okay. So, yeah, I dive to the bottom. All right. Um, go ahead and give me athletics to see uh, how well you maintain control as you go underneath this ledge. Uh, 21. Okay. Can I see Archie doing this? No, your head's above water. I mean, I... Okay, fair no, enough. No, you suck. I don't think the water's that that clear. No, like, no, it's no, probably also dark in this cave. It's because oh, yeah, all Wisconsin the lights have been, yeah. all the torches so I, are out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so Archie, you prepare yourself. You uh, are able to write yourself very easily, and you dive um, beneath this water and push yourself down below uh, so that you don't come crashing against the cave wall. Is there a? So am I like against the floor of the river flow right now? Um. No, like this thing, you don't see the bottom of this particular channel that goes underneath the ledge. So like, just to make it clear, you're back in that room uh, where you found the two bodies hanging on the ledge of the rock and that river, yeah, yeah, that you kicked the one body down into, it's pulling you down into that. So you cannot see the bottom. I mean, that's all good and dandy. I'm not going to be able, we're not going to be able to stop ourselves anyway. Not at this speed. There's no fucking way. Okay. I don't, that's going to be a hard ass roll and I don't, I would rather see what's down there yep you stabilize yourself and you push yourself down uh you very narrowly avoid being cracked against the stone wall um but you go into even darker darkness yeah that's fine that's uh, yeah all right bonus action it's okay chomp cool yeah i'm just gonna bite my cheek this time because it's like makes more sense yeah oh god that's the worst though it is the worst yeah it is well that's yeah so yeah but that's the sacrifices Archie's willing to yeah, make. Yeah, find, to find a healer. It'll hurler. Mark Bark, what do? Um, You're being pulled so back I, with this current. I, at the surface, still notice that we're about to smack into this For wall. sure. But you have you have gotten a full breath. Okay, cool. <gasps> Six, we need to dive now. And I, I dive. Okay. <laughs> Six, grab me with your muscly arms and let's dive. <laughs> <laughs> Take me with your muscly arms. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're shooting <laughs> yourself. Don't even blame me. Well, <laughs> <Little> athletics. <laughs> uh, 17 plus 2. Yes. All right. You're able to push yourself down. Um, I will give you at this point, you're catching up uh, to Archie. You can see him in the distance um, as he swims underneath the ledge uh, and you follow suit. I have dark vision. Nice. What do you do for bonus action? But do you have water vision? No, I'm just kidding. We'll do, we could just... Uh, yeah, that's a fair yeah. point. Uh, talking was probably your bonus action at this point because it was a stall. I mean, not much else you can do. Uh, yeah, okay. Unless you've got cool. an idea. That was it. I turned my head quickly to look and make sure Six did the same. All right, Six. Uh, we don't know what you do yet because it's Osiris' turn. Uh, um, I would like to um, see where everyone is, please. Okay, go ahead and roll that perception. 10, 13, 16. <laughs> Uh, two plus two, no, four. Just, no. yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, uh, two, no, no. Two plus not a fucking chance. There's a siren <laughs> nearby. Uh, I can smell it. Cool. Ew. That's, that's it. weird. The, yep. The, you, that's <laughs> canon now, I guess. What a siren that smell like? That was my like? passive. Yeah, or, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. That, that was my bonus action. So can I yeah. like, um, find surface? You can find surface. You octopus. You, you octopus, though, why you want surface. Doesn't matter. It's just what she sur- wants to do. Why are you questioning oh, yeah. things, Will? Fair enough. I mean, My like, what am I going to do? Attack the person that I don't really know where they are anymore? Well, no, you yep. you know where the siren is. I'll give you that. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna attack it then. Oh, okay. Let's All go. Right. You gonna try and grapple face again or just hit? I'm gonna try to grapple face again. Uh, I, I miss those kisses. Roll that athletics. <laughs> All right. So, oh, <laughs> wait. Athletics or am I rolling to hit? Uh oh. If you want to do your, hit you want to do your attack thing. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well, if yeah, I'm rolling to, to hit, yeah. if I'm rolling to hit, I rolled a nat twenty just now. Another nat twenty. <laughs> well, I mean, oh my god! I, I will, I will allow you to to do whatever you want here. If you're trying to roll to hit, if your hit also involves a grapple, you automatically grapple. But like, what do you want? What do you want to do here? I was trying to hit it because, it, I mean, like in the description it says I rolled a hit, and then it says the target is then grappled. So it's right, like yeah. I hit and grapple it all in one movement. Yeah, roll that crit. So, okay, um, so it's 1d1 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh, no, so it's 2d1 bludgeoning damage. Mine. I hit him for two damage. <laughs> Jesus. 1d1? Oh my God, that's, that's beautiful. I hit it for 1d1 Dude, her bludgeoning. challenge rating is zero. Yep. <laughs> All I right. hit it for 2d1 bludgeoning damage. But it's also damage. grappling the face again, so. But can I, mean, I grapple it? I mean, all right, I want, I want you to describe how you smack it and which of your eight tentacles oh. does it, please? Oh, no, no. I imagine, like, let's say number three and number seven go like a whap, whap. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Whap, three and seven. Whap, whap. Like a little double slap. Like, imagine, like, in a, a like a clockwise rotation. We've got, like, one, two, three. Like, three hits it, and then four, five, six, seven. Cool. And then just all the way around the face. All right, yeah, and then wrapped around the face again. It's a beautiful nat 20, and it's a beautiful reunion. Um, you back yep. on it. <laughs> a little smoochy. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> cool. So stupid. <laughs> a little so uh, now we go to six. What do, sir? All right, six. Hearing Mark Mark say we're diving, we need to dive now is going to be like, oh, okay. I can't see anything, anyways. I'm just going to follow the current. Uh, and then he looks over at the siren and the, si- and the pockets. And, Bye, and, and dives down. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Athletics. Rolling that good dice. Okay. That's a nine plus two, 11. It is a struggle for you to push yourself down. You don't get as far as Marg Bark does, but you can start to press down into a darker and darker space. That is the thing that's prohibiting you from moving the most is your ability to see down here. Uh, As you approach the ledge, it is going to be problematic for you next turn and you might still collide. Cool. All right. All right. Sounds good. Do my best. Siren next to you is going to try and dive after you as well. Does worse than you as it dives. Uh, <laughs> it is just a tail behind, struggling with control. Um, what's that face for, Bruce? She swims. How the fuck is a finned thing? Yeah, right? All right, fine. This is fine. half you fish, know right? You know, Shut up. It rolled worse. There you go. Thanks, advantage, guys. Advantage, a 19. Advantage. It dives Ayo. after you and is able to fully <laughs> connect. I give the players what they want, Will. I'm sorry. Um, so oh, I need you to give yeah. me an athletics contest, please, sir. Uh, they were right. Will, I what can the I camera say? with discontent. Will, Will I need you plus to get two. good. 19 plus 2. 13 on my dice. There's no way I'm baiting, beating yeah. that. No way I'm baiting that. Yep, yeah, don't bait it. Please don't, don't bait. bait it. Please don't, Never, don't be a master. All right, uh... It collides with you, uh, right in the our, back. Our jokes. <laughs> our jokes. I got it. I, no, I definitely got it, but our jokes are I so stupid. I kept going. We had a we had an entire segment in one of, in our podcast about cum. Like, oh my god, this is <laughs> come, 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 come. All right, all right. Uh, this thing collides <laughs> into your back as it tries to grapple you. You are able to kick it off. Uh, and I will provide you because this distance um, and this uh, the, the difference in skill here um, and because I gave you a disadvantage because everyone asked, what I'm going to grant you is an opportunity attack on here as it bounces off. So go ahead and roll. A natural 20. Why this is this? This, this, this is the podcast for y'all naturals. Y'all are lying. I'm not lying. I, y'all are dude, all lying. I, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm, I've been over here rolling like ones look at and sixes look at and that. threes. You see that? I, mean, I rolled a one you and You see my two natural nat 20? 20s. Look, I did not touch the dice. My hands went straight up. You're a, you're a piece like, of garbage. I can't liar. help. Like, dude, this is straight up the natural 20 
Uh, this is the. This you is will the never n- roll game. another one the rest this of this podcast. fucking podcast, yep. and it's you will need one now. to survive. For the, and you will die. For the listeners, <laughs> I just took my camera off and showed them my natural twenty. It is real. I swear to you. All right. My highest roll tonight is a fifteen. I, I've gotten two. Emily's gotten two, and Tanner's gotten one. I got an at one though, so I mean it kind of uh, like balances, balances out. out. Here's yeah. the deal, Will. Either you do damage to it, you do the double damage from your kick, or you can use your power in this collision to direct it in a moment. You can use the current. When you say when advantage. you say direct d- direct that thing to swim elsewhere, okay, yep, direct you can direct the, the siren. Okay. You can change its course momentarily. To make I, it slam into the fucking wall, Will. I, that's Bruce, you are uh, well, you and I are on the same wavelength. I would like to save that to make it do some other bullshit. Smart boy. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this other siren real quick and see what happens um, with uh, it and Osiris eight legs. That's me. I need a strength contest from you, please. Athletics. Octosiris. Octosiris. That's good. Is that, is that another nat 20? Or is that the one? Was uh, it the one? face? Jeez. Yeah. I rolled it at one again. Oh no. Wrecked. Okay. Now I'm well, I'm now I'm two for two. Yep. So what it does, because it's prepped for this this time, it takes your bulbous noggin, grips its <laughs> long claws around you, and rips you off. Holds Not on my to you. Bulbous noggin. Bulbous, yeah. Well you're 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 an octopus. Yeah. You're not bulbous. What sounds else? so wrong. Well, I mean, it just sounds wrong. Have you ever Squidward seen an octopus? Squidward noggin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it, it's looking it's... like octillery from Pokemon over there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. It's going to put you in front of it, arm stretched out, and it's going to try and direct you towards the uh, rocky floor here. And it is able to do so. You are pinned down on this floor, scraping as its force and the current bring you along. Uh, that sounds painful. Ouch. ouch. Scrapey, scratchy. Yeah. Ouch. Am I about to take damage? You are. Oh. <sighs> now, question. In my wild shape, I already rolled for my health, which I have a 11 in my health. Does that take away from my real life health, too? Or? Uh, so you have the health that you have as a uh, wild shape is a mm-hmm. pool. It takes it down that certain number, and whatever excess damage as you come out of wild shape transfers over to you. So it's not the full so damage. I, okay, so like if I, if I took 11 or like 13 damage, for example, I would take, take also 13 damage form. in my like, no, real you, life. No, it, it would take 11. You would take two. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. Yep, it's a pool. Cool. And it takes away from that pool so. first. It's like a shield. Um, the octopus takes 10 damage. Well, I got one HP, baby, and I'm still pussing. Emma, you've seen uh, you've seen <laughs> Attack on Titan. You know that big Titan that scrapes his face on the ground when he walks because he's so big. <laughs> oh yeah, because he's so fat. Yeah. yeah, very big, very big. Boy. Yeah, I love I love the anime references. Still pussing, baby. Let's go. Okay. Still pussing. All right. Uh, Sling in that puss. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I fucking hate this. <laughs> it's it, the next round. If you don't try and get out of this. It is going to continue scraping you on the floor here. Um, all right. Everyone is pushed forward and down towards this pocket of water underneath this ledge. Um, Margbark, you are able to direct yourself fine. Archie, you are also prepared. You have dived uh, below this. Six. I need you to give me an athletics, uh, a strength save, actually. Please, sir. Uh, is this before I get to do my... Okay, that's fine. You you fucked up last time, right? Uh, yes. I, I, so I am going towards something. I rolled a 17 on dice, but uh, I, I'm just making sure I get to direct the siren to do some stuff still. Don't forget about that. Remember, I saved my nat 20 roll where I get to direct I sorry it. sorry I skipped your turn didn't I no no you didn't no no you didn't skip oh you're just you're just talk, you're just resolving the end of the turn my bad sorry yeah cause you okay. you rolled poorly and you weren't yeah. able to write yourself towards the thing yeah okay yeah. okay okay alright but I okay I rolled a 17 plus 2 for a strength is it strength roll or strength save save it's the same thing it's fine 
Okay. So 17 so 19? plus 2. 19. All right. Your back scrapes against the ledge of this, barely, just damaging your clothes as you are sucked down beneath it. So so did did he slam the siren into the wall? Well, because you still have control of the siren. Yeah. Um, just let me resolve that now. I'm just going to kick it real quick. It doesn't even have to do damage, and I want to direct it. Uh, I want to direct it far to, uh, like, I just want to push it trajectory far to the right of the hole. Okay. Um, go ahead and give it to me at disadvantage, please. Uh, this is just okay. an athletics check. Because okay. you're scraping and having to write yourself. 12 and an 18. So 12 plus 2. 15 or 14? Yeah. You're pulled under. And as you twist this thing around and kick it upwards with your legs, its face slams directly into the ledge as the current <laughs> uh, pushes it into it. Um, you can't tell what happens to it as uh, you lose your grip and you're sucked down uh, below. Um, but you do know it connected. Do I witness this? Uh, you are swimming downwards. You're not looking back up. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, so, Archie. Do, do I... But I don't see this, right? I don't see the... No. I know. I know. Uh, okay. I'm just going to... I'm, I'm just going to chompy... I'm going to chomp on something on my body uh, to, to, to you take damage. Okay. You bite a nipple. And, uh, yeah, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. It'll grow back, I think. Maybe. Like, um, bite it off? You can't just bite <laughs> all right, it? Yeah, we're, that's not... Yeah. You know, this is just... <laughs> Oh, my nipple. <laughs> yeah, pinky bite, I guess. Well, I don't know, because Archie's like, Archie, he's like, he's like he's like one of those old school strong men, you know, that you see like in the old black and white movies where they're lifting just the ball barbells like that. Eating his, the canned spinach size. like Popeye. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But um, so no, he wouldn't be able to reach his nipple at this yeah, point. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> um, all right. And then I'm just going to uh, withhold my action for... Something to pass by? Needing to move. Yeah, or, you know, needing to move to not get fucking smashed against rock. I will allow it. So what also you see as you come down here, you notice that the current isn't as strong as things kind of uh, dip down in and that meets this original river, as if the water that is coming up isn't as, you know, there's not as much behind it. Um, down here, you aren't really able to see. See the body still talking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you are you actually aren't really able to see very well because you don't have dark vision, correct? Nope. Okay. Um, however, what you see off in the distance are these little dots of blue glowing lights, very faint, kind of dotted all around. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. Uh, Mark Bark. So l- we dove down. We're still diving. We're going under this rock. Yeah, you're right? going under this ledge and down beneath. And what can we see on the other side? All right, so you have dark vision, correct? Yep. All right, down here, you get a decent glimpse of the cave walls uh, that were beneath this channel. Um, it's relatively smooth because you can tell this underwater river has been cutting through here for a long time. What you see down here it seems to be like this blue algae that's just growing on the cave walls here, this blue fungus of some type. Um, But it does help you see a little bit more. Off in the distance, however, you see a large shadow. Not a humanoid shape at all. Seem to recognize that you notice it and then swim off farther into the distance to where you can't see it. Oh, damn. That sounds spooky. Like a dragon! Like a Durgan. Um, shit. I don't know, dude. What is there to be done here? Um, uh, so you said it's algae on the walls that is making this light? Some sort of plant life. Would it be worth investigating, and can I do that? You can attempt to do that, and if it's worth it, it's up to you. Um, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to try to swim toward it and check it out. Okay. Um, so I will allow, I'll allow this all to be, uh, action bonus action. Okay. So go ahead and give me athletics check. It's easier down here. You notice that the current isn't as strong as it was before. Um, 
So go ahead and give me that. I need that, that nat look y'all have been yeah, giving. Yeah, seriously. I did not get that nat look. I got a two. Okay. Um, Plus two. You are unable to push yourself towards it. Uh, because you're you're sort of tiring out, um, It it the current pushes you farther ahead towards the, the shadow that you saw before. For shame. Yep. All right. Okay. Next. All right. Osiris. You are held in... Oh, no. You're being scraped against the uh, the floor of this cave. Yeah. I'm taking some damn, you know? Yeah. Taking I want to not damn. take... I, don't, I want to take not damn, you know? All right. Athletics, please. Okay. You have to beat a four. Well, I got a seven on dice. So. Nice. All right. So minus, three. minus three. Minus three. Minus three. <laughs> it's a four. It's a four. It is a four. So who does it go to? Oh, who does it go to? It goes to it goes to Emily. Come on, chill. Goes to, it goes chill, to chill, 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 chill. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. So she has to she to break it. Meter B. It's we DC paper, is four. Meter so B. Yeah, be, yeah. She makes it. Because you four, rolled yeah. first, so it'd be she's meeting or yeah. beating okay, in cool. this case. I think. I met. Yeah, that cool. sounds good to me. Okay. Stop trying to fuck us, Tanner. Oh, so I'm not. I've been very <laughs> generous. No, that's a legit yeah. question. All right, you are able <laughs> to barely pull yourself from its grip uh, without damaging yourself on its claws, and you are no longer being scraped on the cave floor. That's your action. Action. Okay. Well, bonus action. Seems like, I'm, seems like a really good time to ink something. Is that considered a bonus action? He said he would um, earlier. He said he would I, earlier. I did say I would earlier. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You're allowed already. To, You're good. Fart. You're just farting. <laughs> ink and yeet. I'm going to ink and yeet. Cool. All right. Uh, so <laughs> you, yink. you She's release yink. this ink uh, and attempt to jettison your way out of there. Um, all right. Six. You have been scrapped. Scraped. Scraped. You're to have not Do been I scrapped. move away from it? I'm sorry. No. Yeah, you're down the hole. I mean, I'm like inked. You know, you're inked. so am I still you're, you are occluded in a five foot radius, so it can't see me right now, right? Potentially, it's like John okay. Cena up in the city. Yeah, uh, six. <laughs> six. You are you are now beneath this ledge. You have kicked off the siren uh, on the other side. Uh, you do not see it right now. Um, what do you do? Uh, well. Gonna try to find my friends. I don't. I can't see jack shit. So I'm just gonna follow the current, swim along with it. Okay. Go see where it athletics. takes me. I'm rolling pretty good tonight. That's a 15 plus two, 17. Excellent. You keep yourself right, and you're pushing yourself forward. All right. Uh, these sirens. No one sees anything of the siren that hit the wall. The siren that is next to Osiris. Uh. Attempts to just claw out, but is unable to make purchase. Um, so with the current pushing away, Osiris, you think you might have been able to slip away in the ink cloud. On this turn, everyone is pushed farther underneath this new segment in the river that you saw underground earlier. Earlier, And here, again, you see all these dots of blue glowing segments on the walls. And... Archie, you're the first to notice this because you're the farthest along. The area ahead of you is getting lighter. And it is a sort of red moving glow. You can assume to be some sort of firelight ahead above the water. So the segment in front of you is potentially not flooded and lit by something. All right, yeah, I'm going to try to shoot to the surface. Okay. The current uh, is steady enough here that you're able to jettison yourself forward without much effort. Um, you can kind of surmise at this point that potentially the area behind you, all the water has flowed out and stopped the extra flow here. So you push yourself forward and you barely surface and uh, are able to take a look around if you'd like. Yeah, I'll, yeah, sure. Okay. What you see here, um, is certainly some sort of firelight casting, uh, you know, warm glow on the, all the walls here. It is a nor another open chamber that this, uh, this underground river comes out at. Um, you can hear someone talking in the distance, but it's not really coherent. 
It's not that they're that far away from you. It just doesn't really make sense to you. And you can hear some gurgling along with it. How close am I to the edge? Uh, you're 15 feet away. Uh, how many, how many rounds of combat we had? <laughs> Been like 10 now? Yeah, quite. Uh, five-ish. Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll take, I'll take my, I'll take my uh, chances with the fire in the cavern. So I'm gonna try to get the fuck out of this river. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're easily able to make it up to the side onto the ledge of this rocky surface. And as you're pulling yourself up, what you can see in the distance is that there is a torch on the ground near a person, the person that you hear talking, uh, who is also laying down on the ground. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to like kind of get my purchase up on the edge and, um, I'm going to yoink my battle axe out and then I'm just going to kind of wait and see if the party joins me. All right. Um, and as you, you kind of ready yourself, uh, um, bite myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marg Bark, Six and Osiris, um, you all end up making your way up towards this segment where you can see this, this firelight cascading on the walls here, a uh, reflection on the walls. Um, and you can breach the surface and see Archie moving slowly out onto a rocky ledge. Um, Osiris, you don't get any sense of a siren being nearby. As the current has slowed down, nothing has come back close to you. And all three of you can move at once. I move to get out of the water. And you said there's like a, there's a person laying on the ground beside a torch that is just yeah, you mumbling and talking. Yet. But once I get out of the water, I'll see As it. they breach, yes. can I like turn to them and like mouth to be quiet? Yes. Okay. All right. So... I'll walk up beside Archie and say, who do you think he's talking to? I guess oh, I'm you just no yeah, more no know. more octopus. I'm just cutting that off. Sure. I flop out of the water and then just. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to say what you do? Hold on, <laughs> yeah. I, oh, this is a, this no, a podcast. I, <laughs> I just. Whoa, whoa. I just. Oh. <laughs> I just uh, there's like a like loud noise and then I just. Start. Oh, that's it's good um, magic. It's just it's what? just popping magic. Got it. <laughs> And then uh, I uh, turn into a Cyrus. It was uh, it was just, Animorphs um, before, but now it's no. Now it's magic, like <laughs> snap of a finger. Cool. Wow, um, and a poof of smoke. Yeah. No, so, my uh, tentacles kind of like back into my body, like shrivel up, and then uh, I spit out my didgeridoo from my beak, and then yep, yep, mm -hmm. cool. In the mm -hmm. in the distance, you're oh, my calamari. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Archie's got his finger over his mouth. Uh, I guess six, six was looking. Archie, uh, oh, he pops out of the water and says, "What does that mean?" <laughs> it means shut up. Oh, I'm very sorry. That was fun. Stop talking, okay. six. Oh. Excuse me. A six climbs on the ledge with everybody else. Okay, the person in the distance is gasping for air. <laughs> Should we help him? I could heal him. Maybe I should go. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use my ability to um the the enhanced smell that mm -hmm. I have to see if I can roll an insight roll to determine if this is a human or like some other, if it doesn't, the scent doesn't match up with what I'm seeing. Does that make sense? Yes. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Nobody recognizes this person. You can't really see a face. It's about, this person's about 35 feet in the distance. Is it just too far away to see their face? I mean, they're laying down, so it's kind of obscured by an arm. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I got a 13. Okay. Um, it's... You don't pick up anything too strange. Um, it doesn't quite smell human, but m mostly like you get the smell of fish in the air. Um, all right. I'm just going to like prick my finger with the tip of like the sharp point of my axe to take like one damage, I guess. Okay. 
because it's a little more controlled. I, yeah, I will allow that, that. Logical. Okay. Um, yeah. Then, smells really fishy in here. <coughs> so Fish. this this person <laughs> slash being has willingly gotten themselves out of the water, or do you think they were we kind of? Hmm. Can I use invisibility on myself to walk up closer to it without being noticed and see what I can see about it? Yeah. All right. Uh, so the the you know Osiris, uh, Archie, and Six, you see Marbark shimmer, and then you no longer see him. I use my smell to keep track of him. I'll. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk up to him and uh, try to inspect without touching. All I'm right. Just see if I can kind of lean over. See what it's all about. Yes. I just assume it's like your general kind of area. Like, I know you've moved closer to him, not direct. So I, oh, okay. I don't yeah. pinpoint you. I'm just trying to keep track of you so I know relatively where you are if I have to come in and fucking start chopping shit. And I don't accidentally chop <laughs> you. All right. Uh, a enough. few things about this particular chamber. Um, it is somewhat smaller than that main chamber that you went into. Over to your left, you can see a... Um, a passageway. Uh, but this dwarf, you recognize it as a dwarf as you approach, um, uh, is, is next to a couple bedrolls. Uh, there are two next to him nearby um, and this torch burning near him. And he, uh, as you get closer, you can tell has translucent skin. He is gasping for air. <laughs> And just does not look well. Um, his clothes are soaked. He is a bit slimy as well. So it's basically like the body we found with the dead siren Very before, similar. but it's just not quite dead yet. Yes. Gasping Why don't we throw for him in the air? fucking water. Or I drop my invisibility and I look back and say, Guys, we need to help him. Okay. I, I run Osiris over to help. runs to help? I, no, I'm not running anywhere near this okay. thing. I, I rush to like put my hands on him to do whatever I can. Maybe like take some of his waterlogged clothes off or deliver CPR. Does that work? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, CPR, You're, a, a thing I feel like he needs do? saving. <laughs> Is that I feel a like he, Dragons that activity? Like, can I roll for CPR? <laughs> yeah, it'd be a medicine check, actually. It is yeah, legit. No, it 100% it'd just be is. a medicine check. Um, so, yes, you can, you can roll for CPR. Let me, let me bring something up real quick for my <laughs> reference. Archie did yell to throw him in the water. Osiris that's, but that's his... did not bring any healing abilities, Fucking... so... Um... I rolled a nat one. Oh no! Hey, you asked for the nats. You got the nats. You kill him. <laughs> you, just cho- you just choke. I him. just, I just have <laughs> no idea CPR, what right? CPR is, and I'm just. Blah, 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 blah. You break all of his ribs. And- whoa, whoa, whoa! Before you did that, the the cleric would step in and be like, "Uh, I, I think this is my area of expertise. I could probably help him." Uh, you're right, six. I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. I have a plus I stand six back. medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I stand back and let Six do this. Okay, yeah, before He's you decide to kiss him, go ahead, Six. What do you do? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I mean, we didn't, we didn't really gain any knowledge about that. Um, the translucent skin person earlier, they were already dead. So I, I think he needs air. So going to CPR his ass. Okay, roll that medicine check for you me, please. You should CPR his chest yeah, you instead. You probably CPR his mouth first. <laughs> nice. Stop nice, pounding nice, his nice, ass. Nice, 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 nice. That's an eighteen plus six, <laughs> twenty-four. You do. I do it good. Very, very good CPR. This is the kind of stuff they write textbooks about, and it doesn't do anything. It actually makes things worse. <laughs> ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. My turn. My turn. I would like to cast my cantrip shape water where I can move water and like grab a little five foot. Will, shut up. Will, shut up. I want to cast my cantrip shape water and grab a little bubble of water and throw it on him. Okay. Um, You do that. And he seems to breathe easier. (laughs) Quick, get him in the water. (laughs) (laughs) It's not like I said that, like, you know, I don't know, 30 (laughs) seconds ago or anything. I grab an arm. He is to try and drag I'll grab the other one. All right. 
Uh, yeah, Ew. his arm pops off. So you, you guys are able Ew. to pull him, but disgusting. It is, you could see uh, the tension against his translucent skin, and you can feel him slipping. So it's very difficult to get him to the water, but you finally do. He's like, oh, let go of me, let go of me. Do hims have legs? Oh yeah, he has legs and arms. He's a dwarf. He's saying let go of him. Yeah, he's saying let go of him. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I did tell you not to touch him either. Who are you? I don't know. We're going to put you in the water now, and just, let's just throw him in the water. Can't <laughs> break. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you guys toss him in the water. Big splash. Uh, and he bobs up to the surface. You, you can see he's floating on his back very easily. <sighs> and he seems to breathe easier. The fuck happened to you? Got it. Uh, got attacked. By water? I didn't get attacked by water. I got attacked by a thing. Oh. What thing? Which way did it go, George? I uh, down into the water. It was big. It had tentacles and like a, a like big mouth with big lots of teeth, round, gross. I don't feel good. Wait, I didn't. We didn't see any big tentacle monsters. I'd look for another place to go that's not near the water. Yeah, uh, there's there's so along with the passageway to the left, there is another one to the right. So there are two openings in the far side of this chamber away from the water. Does the left seem to go back f- where we came? Uh you could you could potentially surmise that. Well, I just like the river, not necessarily. Yeah, it's it's, it's in the same direction general as the river. direction. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. Well, I've seen enough. Uh, whatever this is for today, I'm getting the fuck out of this cave. Well, I also. Prick, I prick my uh, I prick another finger. Okay. Did the uh the thing with tentacles did that uh kiss you by any chance? <laughs> it bit me. I'm walking to the left not passageway me. to look in it. I pick up the torch. Okay, not a good thing with tentacles. We should leave. And I turn to follow Archie. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait, I, I mean, I wait. Most good things, most things that are good don't have have tentacles. Just just so you're aware. That is not a good. Hey, get, help me, get me out of the water. I don't know, it's cold. And he reaches a hand out towards, I guess it's, it's just six and Osiris here left. Um. I, uh, I reach out my didgeridoo so he can grab the other end. No, oh, uh, wait. Wouldn't do that. Hold on. No, but I don't just, uh, oh. Hold on, before you do that, uh, sir, uh, uh, I believe you need to stay in the water. You're not going <laughs> to be able to breathe above it. It's cold. Hey, I'm so cool. You got something to, to keep me warm, I got I'm so cold. Um, no. <laughs> Please, I'll just keep my feet in it. Please. And, and he tries to, cl- like, climb out of the side uh, onto the rock, and he, he seems to be having trouble. He's very weak. Please, I don't, I'm not the best swimmer. Oh, okay. Tanner, Archie walks over, and he kicks this dude in the face off the ledge. Okay. Uh, he is pushed backwards back into the like, oh, No. I'm not good. I'm not well. Please. Sorry, bruv. You're already dead. And I, I will turn around and walk I away. use press the digitation to make the water warmer. Uh, that's a little better. But I'm not... You can see him kind of bobble the water. I'm not a good swimmer. <laughs> um, Osiris looks at Archie and is very confused. Like, um, are, are you sure we shouldn't help him? I've got two people who I have to make sure get out of these caves alive. And it's these two. You could be one. We could make it three. But we're leaving him. Something's wrong with him. None of us know how to treat it. And he can't breathe if he's not in the water. Yeah, I think it's best that he does stay in the water. Take me to someone who can treat it. And bring me to a healer. My skin looks funny. It's probably because you're breathing through water or something. I don't fucking know. But you can't even... You were gasping for air ten seconds ago. Yeah, well... On the side here. So you can make the water. And then I could just come with the water and I can... It will be fine. All right. Hmm. Archie looks at the well, this is and he's just like, okay, Here, here's the point. He's a liability. He's one more person who can't fight. He can't do anything against the creature and he's going to drag us down. Well, Archie, you know, I, I don't typically disagree with you, but isn't it also important to figure out what's happening? We'll figure that out when we run into the creature. I don't need another, ma- I don't need another head to keep on shoulders. Now the creature's gone. How do you know? I, it ain't come back. 
Where did you where did you come from? Uh on the side of the cave. Did the passageway over to the left? You can go out and bring you out to the front. Hey actually there's I was here with another person. You guys seen uh, a a little woman over in here? Oh she's very dead. Uh huh. Wait, Gracie's dead? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> That's sad. Wait, did I miss something with Gracie? <laughs> we found a we found a translucent Gracie? woman. Yeah, yeah, but okay, all right. I'm guessing we found her with someone else, didn't we? We found her with a um, yeah up the, the river with a mermaid mm. with a, another siren. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. Can you got? Are you sure you're not gonna help me? Like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be down here no more. We've already helped you, you idiot. You can't if you get place. out of the water, you will die. Get, you got a water bottle? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've had enough. I chuck a hand axe at him. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. No, I'm dead serious. No, no, no. Wait, hold on. I'm dead serious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> roll it. Roll a hit. Do it. I miss terribly. Okay. <laughs> This the hand axe ah. chunks down in the water. And I, I guess I should. I guess I really shouldn't have been biting my fingers. Okay. I, he starts swimming back with. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's fine. I'll I figure think, out my own way I out. I think we should help him. We should help him, you guys. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. I I reach out my my staff, my didgeridoo, and let him grab onto the end. Oh, you so kind. Thank you so much. And he starts swimming forward. And can you please don't throw another axe at me? All right, Archie's already turned to walk away. I'm right. not a liability, so we can we can go. Let's go. All right. Um, he he reaches up and he's he's a pretty hefty guy. So go ahead and, and uh, roll me a strength save to see if you can hold on to this didgeridoo. Ooh, strength save. Yep. Okay. Okay. So ten minus one and nine. You are pulled back into the water with this guy, <laughs> and he grapples onto you. <sighs> And attempts to swim down below the water. Ugh, I knew we should have gotten out of here already. 